basically trying to... Yeah. Okay then. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say something. As in, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> that sounded that sound loud and disturbing. Gradient overlay. Hey, guess what I'm doing? More shit that I shouldn't be doing because we need like a paid fucking graphic designers or something. I just got protection, Kyle. What the fuck? But he wants more protection. <laughs> like, we just got... We just, yeah, he we was just gonna got, say something. We just got <laughs> one first. Then, then I'll then I'll get you with a like, you know, comment on it, whatever, anything you want. But I hate when people, like, bombard you with, like, hey, man, can you do this for me? Can you do this for me? Can you do this for me? And and, and you're like, no, wait, wait a minute. Who, who are you first? Like, what, what, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, like I, I mean, I mean, I'm a smaller channel. I, I don't get that a lot. But when I do, I'm like, wait a minute, sir. Are, are you sure I'm the one that you're trying to go to? Because we're in the same boat right now. I'm not liking for liking or subbing for subbing. Like, what, what's the point of that? I don't want to have like dead viewers on my channel. I'd rather have dedicated subscribers who watch my content every time I post it, rather than someone who just likes my video once and just like unsubscribes after a month as I subscribe to him. Like, that, that's dumb. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just something that um that that uh, uh I, I just don't like um and also uh there, there's been a lot of uh, subscriber botting lately and uh, I'll, have you guys noticed this at all? all? All I know is the fact that like people constantly spam me on like YouTube and stuff like hey check out this sub like thing or whatever. Oh yeah, um, well, it's like. like I have a friend, uh, I'm not going to name his name because he's, he's in my videos, but he he got to uh, 1K subs considerably fast, and he goes to the same school as me, so I sat down with him one day and I asked him, hey man, what, how, what, how did you get so big so fast? And he's like, listen man, this thing called a subscriber train, you do, and then really I was like, nope, nope, don't talk to me anymore, you're not my friend, stop. And then, <laughs> I don't then know he, you. Yeah, he was, I was like, what? Well, he's, he's like, man, it's legit, man, you just... Subscribe them, they subscribe you, and they're legitimate subscribers. I'm like, no, majority of them don't probably don't even know your name. Like, what what are you what, what are you doing? And I see channels like this like blow up, like people just all oh, these he has so many subscribers. Because if you notice, YouTube's one big bandwagon, mm -hmm. one huge bandwagon. Like like for instance, um, there's channels out there. Let's say like vlog channels and bigger channels like that, and they see how many views the gaming community gets. Um, and they see how many, how much stuff, and all of a sudden, oh, hey guys, subscribe to my gaming channel where you see me fail at games, and they, that channel blows up, and, like, I just noticed that, like, money whoring is real. It, it is. It is. It, as much as people, uh, don't say it is, and, like, people love to do YouTube, some people do, but I see a lot of money whoring lately. A lot of it. Yeah, I just want to, like, go to, like, the point where it's, like, it's not like that, but then again, I think, it, like, this isn't like the YouTube where I started out. This is a business now. I realize that. And, like, the only thing that's keeping me, like, really going on doing this, because I think it's kind of menial and stupid to kind of do sometimes, but, like, when I went to PAX East, like, when I got kids coming up to me saying they watch my shit and, like, they're giving me games to play, it's like, wow. It's like, it's kind of like, wow, I didn't know, like, people actually watch my shit. And it's like, like, yeah, okay, I'll continue doing it. Because, like, honestly, it's not a fa money isn't a factor to me. Like, I get a paycheck monthly. It's decent. Like, it's it's good. But I don't, like, like be like, oh, no, I just need more of this and stuff. I don't know. But then again, this isn't my main source of revenue. I work for other stuff. I go to school full time and shit. This is not my, like, source of revenue. So I cannot talk because I know some people, they have to do that because, like, the job market is hard out there. They need to, like, do this. So it's like. Yeah. Yeah, I understand that regard. And did you, well, one thing that I don't like, and that's um, YouTubers who behave like celebrities. Now, uh, compared to actual, like, A-list celebrities, majority of, 99% of the people on YouTube aren't really anybody. If you, if you were to go up on a race person, just, hey, do you know who so-and-so is? They'll probably be like, no, unless they're actually on the internet and do that sort of stuff. And one thing I don't like is when bigger YouTubers, uh, who are, like, really, like, up there in the community, 
uh, act like they are like titans. Like, 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 how dare you speak to me? I'm up here. You're down here. And the channels that actually like reply to, I mean, I understand it's really hard to reply to like every comment and do all this, but respect your subscribers. I mean, like, you wouldn't be anywhere without like the people who are following you all the way. And some people just view themselves as like not as people anymore. Like, there's like deities that you're supposed to worship because they're like YouTube gods. Well, see, like, it's the same thing that goes along with the whole YouTube changing and shit. They're not going to change their ways until they see them losing views and subscribers. They're still going to act like the same until they say, like, hey, until subscribers stop being stupid. I'm sorry to use this word, but you're being stupid when you, like, stay around someone that's basically treating you like crap. It's like, like, it's kind of, it's kind of hard, like, because if I, like, name specifically what commentator or what YouTuber does this, then I'm going to get flagged for that, even though it's true and I'm right. And, um, like, it's, like, yeah. yeah, I'm just going to, like, just say, like, like, you guys know who you are, and if you don't know who you are, then you're obviously just going to remain clueless forever and stuff, because I know some people that, like, had to unsubscribe from people, like, hey, I know, like, I know me, the one person unsubscribing isn't going to do a lot, but, like, I'm not going to sit around and let someone just, like, not, like, just kind of treat me badly and stuff, so it's, like, um, whatever. Um, yeah, like, majority majority of the YouTubers that, that I subscribe to treat their subscribers like subscribers. Like, actual people instead of pawns. Because I, I see this all the time. Like, um, like for instance, uh, YouTube drama. YouTube drama is a huge thing in our community, especially in the little gaming community. It's not really little anymore. But um, <laughs> when, when, when it comes to that sort of thing, um, let's just say if I have a beef with one of you guys, right? I'm going to send my subscribers to hate in your face. They don't like you. Everything you do is trash, dislikes, like, up the ass. Like, that, that's just gonna happen. Then you do the same thing to me, and pretty much it's like, just like a mini battlefield of just hate and terribleness, and I just hate people to do that. Like, if I would ever get involved in YouTube drama, I would just literally, like, turn my monitor off and just go do something. Because literally, <laughs> like, seriously, seriously, people who get really, like, in-depth and involved in YouTube drama and all of this stuff, do you, you have better stuff to do and argue with people on the internet, but, I mean, people don't have common sense anymore and just mindlessly follow whoever they want. And some people, like, really do some messed up things and still have people behind them like, yeah, that's right. And they don't take into, like, context their own morals, and then they just end up looking really stupid. I think that's pretty much proven yeah. in the comments section every time you look at it. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. It I don't be even video. look at it because I'm dead tired of Bob. Just and let's I swear fight to God, about everything. <laughs> oh, this, this, is, this is the video about puppies? Well, I had a puppy who died once. Oh, yeah, hey, yeah. you forgot to put a period at the end of that sentence. Let's argue. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, let's argue. Because grammar on YouTube, and it, like, 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 people argue for the craziest things. There's never a time where I see people just, like, rallying together for something. And I look in the comments, and it's all positive, supportive things. Like, like, for instance, everyone knows about the Google, like, comment section thing that's everything bad and stuff and I, I don't even know how to reply to comments anymore there's a comment on my video i look at it and i'm like hey guy i don't know i'm speaking to my monitor right now i i, I wish i could talk to you but you know what i'm saying i appreciate that liking the video um th th you know they what know saying. i'm saying it they feel it but um like with that right um the comment with the most replies gets to the top so let's just say if on all of you guys' videos, I was like, good job, guys. Great. Loving the videos. Keep pumping it out. Love you. Blah, blah, blah. Full homo. That sort of stuff. <laughs> then, um, then, 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 you know, that, that's going to that's gonna be there, and people are going to be like, yeah, thumbs up that comment. But then some dudes are going to be like, dude, fuck this video. Yo, you're a fag. Fake and gay. Then if all your subscribers are going to reply to that one guy, then his comment is going to get pushed up, and the dude who loves you, full homo, he's going to be pushed down. And it's like, good job, YouTube. Now you've made the guy who everyone hates be on top. Good job. Smart. God, like, those comments, like, they just make me lose all faith in humanity. Like, I swear, like, don't you, like, have one of those comments when you go on, the, like, to a YouTube page and, like, you see, like, uh, this person replied to this comment and, like, you see, you want to see what the uh, reply was and, like, spreads out to, like, 300 different comments branching off of one simple thing. And, like, for some reason, it gets, like, through, like, each level, it gets, like, more political and racist as you go down. <laughs> like, oh, my like, God. Okay, People... Like, this one guy. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry to cut you off, but people will find, um, everything to fight about in the comment section, and like I said, the video can be about literally anything, anything. I've seen 
political comments on videos that have nothing to do with politics. <laughs> nothing at all. It'll just be like, today I went and I bought this. Well, see, Obama's a nigger, and <laughs> I don't think... Oh, yeah, did you, did you guys hear about what he did at some performance thing or either a conference or something? Or, um, no... Wait, no, it was the thing for that uh, that guy from Africa, actually. I think. Oh, oh, Nelson Mandela and the, oh, the, mm -hmm. the speaker guy. And They're saying he... that he was, uh, what was it, flirting around with, um, let's see if I can find an article, but he was flirting around with one of the people from his um, branch of uh, stuff that they do in the government and all that, oh. and his wife was right next to him, and I don't think she liked it at all, and apparently... Oh, oh, oh. Um, I've just seen the video, I know, and then someone took a picture, and, like, he's taking a picture of one person, and it looks like he's taking, like, a selfie, and his wife's next to him, and she has, like, permanent bitch face. Um, <laughs> yep, that one. Yeah, 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 that one. Well, um, as, as far as, as uh, Philip DeFranco, who, who I watch regularly, as far as he says, she just has resting bitch face syndrome. And if you guys know what that is, that's just when a girl looks like she's mad at the world all the time, and then you're like, what is she mad about? But she's not really mad, she just has resting bitch face syndrome. <laughs> I think that's that Michelle Obama is a victim of resting bitch face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as a possibility. But they showed that she was on the other side of him afterwards. For only thirteen cents a day, you can <laughs> save can... Michelle Obama. <laughs> but she bitches him. <laughs> 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 Fifteen motherfucking cents. I'm uh, gonna pay one cent. <laughs> or like twelve point five. I'll find a way to get that point five of a cent. Oh, guys, um, I'm sorry to change topics here, but. How are you guys with YouTube and personal lives? Because I have this problem where, like, I don't tell many people, especially in my school, like, my family, that I do YouTube. Because I remember when I first told my mom, I was like, listen, mom, I'm, listen, I'm going to need you to stay out of my room. I'm going to be making videos and stuff. And she's like, no, you're just jacking off in there, aren't you? <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm like, I need to lock my door and close it and talk to myself. Like, that's what I do. And she'll be like, you're just, you're just trying to jerk your shit, aren't you? And I'm like, no, mom, mom, please. Let me just do it. And now, when you try to tell other people what you do, you're like, what do you spend your time on? Like, why can't you go out on the weekends? I'm like, yeah, well, um, I kind of just sit in my room and talk to myself. I, don't, I can't, I can't really, you, you can't really, you can't really explain YouTube with someone without them looking at you like you're a weirdo. Mm -hmm. Well, like, honestly, the way that, that happened, personal lives... Really, uh, I can't speak. I stayed up to like three last night. Uh, point being, like my family was just kind of bleh because they don't care. They, they oh. could care less. But everyone at school, like, in, in the transition of summer, because that's when I started, you know, all the YouTube stuff. And I got onto it, and then when I came back to school, everyone was like, "Hey, you should do more videos." And I'm like, "Ah, get off of me." <laughs> no, 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 trust me, I get this, I get this, right, I get this all the time. I'll be sitting down eating lunch or something, hey man, aren't you the guy who makes those videos? I'm like, yes, that's me. They're like, dude, let me be in your video. I'm, I can, I can, I, I 360 quickscoped with one guy, and I can talk about that, and I'm like, I don't talk about, I don't talk I about. I get that, that crap And then people the tell you what to put in your videos, like, oh dude, this will be epic. I'm like, no, no, go over there. I'm in school right now, all right? I'm trying to... I have a math test next period, sir. Can you get away from me? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, see, all of, all of mine were just kind of respectful about it. Like, oh, hey, you do this and that, except, like, that that's after they found out I was uncomfortable with them just kind of tackling me, like, no, get off, please. Well, this is I'm, uncomfortable. This is uncool. <laughs> but there, there was a time where YouTube actually was a bad thing for me, so me thinking that I'm, like, the unpopular, not no-one-talks-me type person in my school, I make videos about everything in my school, but I don't tell actually say people's names out of respect and stuff. And there was this one story where I was like, this girl's a whore. She sucks <laughs> off all these dudes. It's crazy. She didn't even do it to me. That whore. And I was just talking about her in this video, and the video <laughs> got a lot of views, and I was really happy about Is that it. that the one with the boobs? Oh, no, 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 that's a different story. I, that's a whole different story. <laughs> um, I, I have a whole story about that one. Oh, my God. But um, what happened was is that the girl comes up to me, and she's like, are, are you the quasi? And I'm like, oh, what? who told her? Who told her? Who? No. <laughs> then she slaps you right across the face. So I'm like, oh, oh, you're still a whore, though. Oh, <laughs> okay. This All makes right. you even more of a whore. <laughs> I was like, I was, like and she, I mean, if she would have came to me, she'd probably be like, listen, I only suck like five dicks a week. Like, listen, can you just, can you just like, just take the video down? I would be like, sure, sure, why not? Sure, I would do that. Why, why now? But no, she just like straight up slapped me across the face. And it was something else. And um, what Jesse's talking about, 
is um, I made a video recently talking about this girl. This girl pretty much, she had her nude pictures, like, sent out all around her school. Like, everyone in her school seen her titties. And <laughs> what I left out in the video, that she actually sent me the pictures as well. And, um, like, I have a girlfriend. And I was with my girlfriend at the moment while I was looking at the video. And I was asking her, I was like, what would you do if this happened? And then she's like, well, you'd shoot everybody. I'm like, yeah, well, I know I'm black, so stop. And she was like, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, she loves that. And then, um, and then I opened the video, I opened the uh, the message, and it's like, full paragraph. And it's like, there's like a link. And I'm like, oh, there's a link? What? And then it's like a, um, those like dot .rar file type things. So I have to extract it and everything. So I'm thinking like it's like a detailed analysis or something like that, right? But then I like open it up, and it's like titties, titties, vagina, titties, titties, vagina. And, I'm, and I'm like, I'm trying to like close out it. My girlfriend's like, what's that? I'm like, nothing, nothing, nothing. This isn't anything. I don't even know what you're talking about. But... <laughs> She did that, and like I, this girl almost cost like me to break up with my girlfriend. Like I was like, "What are you doing, lady? I'm just trying to offer you some advice. You don't gotta be sending me all that." Like, listen, stop, <laughs> stop that. And um, I, I answered her question, and I pretty much said, you know, like it's gonna be tomorrow's news. No one's gonna really care after a while. So what's out there? You shouldn't have been a whore and sent it in the first place. Even though I, I do recommend. Nude pics are cool, but uh, that, that's my final statement. Just don't get caught. Just, yeah, like, just don't get caught. Don't get caught. Um. Yeah, get, getting lessons. caught. Is, getting getting caught is bad. It's like with everything, smoking weed, just don't get caught. That's that's like my motto on everything. I'm like a horrible person to give advice to. See, see listen. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm sorry if I'm taking the floor for majority of this, but I just have so many like stories and stuff that. All right, so my high school that I go to, right? The they 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 um they they pretty much they say don't have sex. Sex is bad bad sex right they say this is what they preach so like don't do it bad don't do that and they don't and then they just they're like they're like that's all they say and um but every, my school my principal everyone's saying why don't you tell us like we can give us some condoms condoms are cool they help and sometimes girls be feeling loose and that's bad so um that this is what i was suggesting like you know maybe you do that give them out but i i looked up the numbers yesterday and there's a reason why they do that. And it's because the pregnancy rate in my school is higher than our test scores. Shit. I'm, 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 letting, I'm letting that sink in for a minute, guys. Think about that. The pregnancy rate at our school so is higher. So like, what, 70, 80%? It, it, well, I'm not saying 70, 80. I mean, I'll be, that's a lot. <laughs> so but, either way, you're saying there's people, either the percentage of people fucking is way too high or the stupidity of your school <laughs> is way too low. Exactly. <laughs> This is this is what I'm saying, and I'm trying to like preach this to people, but no one wants to listen. Everyone's like, no, nope, no, nope, we we don't even care. So this year I'm a senior. I'm gonna be graduating, right? And then so at towards the end of the year they're gonna do like a count of how many people were supposed to graduate and how many people are graduate. Last year it was supposed to be like at least I'll say like 600 kids were supposed to graduate. 105. Jeez, <laughs> oh my God. 105. Like, that just, sounds like inner city school right yeah, there. It, oh, trust Man. me, I live I live in the most ghettoest place in the world, and I hate it because, um, like I, I hate it because the only time the news station anyone wants to come to my school is when someone gets stabbed, someone gets pregnant, someone gets shot. It's like, oh, this this place. And let me right guess, here. they put a ghetto black guy in, oh, on camera. God. Oh and my this. god! And he, he's like, uh, yeah, uh, seriously, man. Uh, and like, I'm like, speak English, my dude. Like, if they would have came up to me, I'm like, listen. Oh my God! The urban. I would say all these words that like none of my school would even know. Like my school is so sad. It's 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 so so sad that the people who go there are just so terrible. And you see, like there's this one kid, right? I when I got into the school as a freshman, I was like, all right, listen, man. I I had a couple of senior friends, but now I'm a senior. Some of my senior friends are still here. <laughs> I'm. I am graduating with these dudes who I knew as a freshman. I'm like, dude, why aren't you gone yet? Like, yeah, man, I'm still living that high school experience. You know, 420 quit. Like, I'm like, what, what are you doing, man? Just go somewhere. Go. Like, you know whoever, like, you can't even hit on girls anymore because if you do, you're a pedophile. You're like, a pedophile. It's, not even, it's not even good for you. And and one thing that's praised in my school that I, I hate is that, you know, all the quote-unquote cool people, a.k.a. the slackers, the one who skips school a lot, do all this stuff, are the ones that are getting praised, right? Yet I'm friends with all of the people who are, like, 
smart and successful type people. Because I know that after high school, those guys who are still there are going to be nothing. They they are literally just going to be still there. Like, yeah, I run stuff. I even though I'm like 22 and still in high school, I don't care. I live with my mom. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? All right, sorry guys, I went on that tangent. Uh, go ahead. What what I was thinking about was like when you're talking about when news people came out. Uh, I went to like okay, I was born in Canada, right? And like there was like and where I lived, there was not that many of my people of my color there. And like I kind of wasn't really bothered by that. But when I came to college, I went to like college in sort of an inner city area in America. And then like they like something happened, someone got shot or something or whatever. And they basically grabbed me aside and like because I had a on a hoodie and just regular blue jeans. And like they grabbed me aside like, hey, can you? talk about this subject and stuff like you were close to the incident can you talk about it and then like i could just see like on the news people face who gave me the mic they were like so like kind of upset the fact that i didn't sound ghetto and i sounded oh, no. like they wanted they no. wanted it you, you know it's funny you know they, they, they should after you're done speaking they probably like shut the camera listen can you like act like more like dumb for us like we need you to be retarded can you can you do that for us can you fake retarded <laughs> Because Can you drop your pants a little bit lower, even little though we don't lower. have... Can you flash a gang sign or two right at the camera? Um, right <laughs> at the Go camera. get a tattoo within the next five seconds. Yeah, can you get a tattoo on your face, like, right now? Like, you know, it's like, oh my god, it's like... Can you just oh. start using some slang real quick? Because we want, we don't want people here to be smart. We want you guys to be all the same. Thank but you. they Go see ahead. me right outside the college. They should have expected, like, they should have went further into, like, because, like, it's weird because, like, the college I went to is, like, there's, like, nothing but campus and stuff. And then, like, a few blocks later, straight up ghetto, like, over there. I was like, is this even safe? Like, because, like, I see, like, the, but, like, the uh, white students just walking, like, right past there. I was like, is, is that safe? Like, is it safe to have a ghetto that close in proxi proximity of where people go to learn? Like, <laughs> that just kind of freaked me out. I was like, okay. Well, well what's pretty, it's pretty funny is that there's a college, like, right around my area. And they, I think they it's the worst school with the best marketing. <laughs> and I, I'm, 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 I'm serious about this, right? They market this college like it's freaking Yale. Like, they're like, look at this college. All commercials are just straight Caucasian males with, like, millions of dollars. And they're like, oh, come to this school. I went to this school. I graduated. I'm a Fortune 500 company, right? But then soon as, like, the people who come here and they drop their kids off, they're like, what, 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 what? No, no. There's, like, tagging on the walls. There's, like, there's, like, like condoms on the floor. It's like, yeah, welcome, welcome. <laughs> they should have like that one college commercial. Have you guys seen it of that one like community college commercial where it's just like some black dude yelling Welcome at you to Everest, get off? Man. Everest, man. Everest. That <laughs> that commercial told the truth. I would never go to that college in my life, but that college told the truth, man. I, I, no, it's no, like, no. oh, I'm sorry, but it's like, are you a single mother with 15 kids who wants to get back into school? Well, listen, this is what I did. I have Shaquanisha, the man the there, and you know I went back and I got a nursing degree, and they're at home like, what? I can do this? What? This speaks directly to me. Which I can, like, I can, can uh, I like support that. Like, if you're a single mother right now, you had children earlier, and you want to go back to school, feel free to do that. Like, I, like, I do not promote stupid people living on this earth, and like, the more people that get educated is the better. But it's like that commercial was just like too much for me like i and it would uh, ironically air between like the maury show and like the jerry springer show oh it's like it's, we know you're watching this so this is for you like, it's like they will say like in the middle of the second like i know you're watching maury right now you, you can get your ass up off the couch and go apply for college i know like, your wow. rent is overdue and you cheated on your baby mama but listen <laughs> you can go back to college <laughs> <laughs> Which is being said to me while I'm in the campus dorm, like, hey, I could, I, could, I should go to Everest. <laughs> I know this college is good, but maybe I should go to Everest. Like, that sounds like it's right for me. Speaking towards my race, but uh, no. Uh, anyway, before I get before we get too off tangent, so I want to kind of touch on the uh, new gen shit or the current oh. gen stuff. Now, have any of you guys had any like uh, experiences with those or like? Um. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to tell you exactly how this happened. Now, I don't know if this is going to spark another tangent, but I'm sorry. So, I went to I went to, uh, I went went to, to go pre-order my Xbox One. Sorry, I'm an Xbox person. I've always have been. Uh, that's just my fault. I tried PlayStation, but my hands are too big, and I can't really get the controller things right. But um, I, I went, and I tried to uh, go pre-order the Xbox. As soon as I found out about it, and then they're like, pre-orders are out. 
there is no pre-orders, right? But then one Walmart was like, listen, Black Friday, you guys come here about this time, there's going to be a whole bunch of Xbox Ones, right? So then I'm like, oh, let's go. I, I, I took off the day for school. I'm like, listen, sorry, guys, Xbox One, need to do this. Uh, this this is really important to me. So I get there, and, you know, they're doing, you know, five, four, three, about to open the doors. As soon as they open the doors, I see, like, 40 people run past me and just, like, start, like, running and, like, literally, like, you know, you guys watch World War Z? That. That's exactly <laughs> what it was. Everyone was, like, trampling over each other to get these Xbox Ones. Dudes toppling over each other in CG, like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah, like, that exactly. was a meme like that. That, like, no, no. It just showed. Like, like, it literally happened, and, like, the display for the Xbox One was just getting, like, ripped apart. People were taking signs and stuff, and people were having them in their hands, punching each other in the face. And I'm like, is this real? Is this... And then, so, soon, is this a fake video? Yeah, exactly, right? Is this a fake video? What? Is uh, someone going to do the Harlem Shake in just I mean, a second? I mean, like, I mean and then I... I as soon as I got there, and I'm talking about, like, I, I'm, I would say I'm pretty athletic myself. I ran there with everyone else, but as soon as I got there, there was, like, not even, like... The display was gone. Everything was, go- like, not even, there was nothing there. Everything was gone. It was gone. Just nothing there. And then some Walmart employee had the audacity to be like, well, we have Wii U's left. I gave her the most serious look in the world. I was like, don't you think I want a fucking Wii U? Do you think I want this- a Wii U? <laughs> that's like this bullshit thing, like like oh I'll just take the Wii U. Like like if if you're a serious hardcore Xbox One fan, to be to skip school, yeah, wait exactly. in line, wait in just, line, like, just to be like okay I'll, I'll 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 take the Wii U. You know what? They're basically the same thing. I mean they're both like games. I guess. I've been waiting for this Mario game for years. <laughs> I've been waiting, no, I've been waiting no. for the same Mario game. Uh, for, you know, I for feel days. so bad. I feel so bad for Nintendo and their Wii U because I think I think about it and it's like, hey, we have a new Mario game. Um, they, pretty much they can't come up with anything really new. They just have to milk what they already have, and, and that's keep going I, with it. But yeah, the fact is, like, okay, I'm going to, like, like, me and Steven could attest to this. I actually like the Nintendo Wii U. Well, I don't like, like, I don't feel like I had to, I, I kind of felt like I wasted money on it, considering, like, I only bought, like, four or five games for it. But, like, the Wii U is a good, like, it's a decent enough console, especially for Nintendo exclusive. I'm just waiting for it to, like, the price to come down and more more games come out to actually get it. Like, exactly, like, Nite- like, Nintendo had it set, like, I believe Nintendo lost, like, it's, like, ranking in, like, the GameCube era. The GameCube was, like, oh a my God. gen oh system my. at the time, and it, it even rivaled the, uh, because, like, I thought the Xbox original was crap, I'm sorry about that. Oh, yeah. Only- thought the original was for Halo. I'm sorry for those of you Xbox pure fanboys. Like, the 360 is good, but the Xbox original, we all have to agree, wasn't that good. It, it, it wasn't as good. just weren't good. And it's like the GameCube was where it was at for oh me. It was God. affordable. It was like I, I got it at Circuit City probably like for like $200 or something at the time, uh, back when Cir- Circuit City was relevant. But anyway... Um, yeah, I got like a GameCube, and that was where it was at. Like they had good exclusives and stuff. They had they had fucking Resident Evil. Like I oh like I thought God. I could only get that for like the PlayStation, and it, like the GameCube was so good. And it's like if only Nintendo came up with like something, just like boost the specs on the GameCube and make like a GameCube two or like a Game Sphere or a Hexagon or whatever. No whatever. Did you guys notice something? With the older types of uh, of of consoles or we, we quotation mark consoles like GameCube and stuff, if you bought a memory card, that's the only thing you need for the rest of your gaming life. Literally, like that little card could hold everything you've done. But nowadays, you download one update and it's like, well, you have two gigabytes left, and this game costs. And this game is <laughs> like a perfect example of that is Battlefield. Oh my god, no. Every time I go and I try to play Battlefield and I try to go do that, it's like, 2 gigabyte install. And I'm like, I got like 40 gigs left. I got this. It's like five hours later. I'm like, what? I, didn't, I, I wanted to play this today. Can I? Then finally when you get it working, you're like, I don't even want to play this game anymore. Then you delete it and then I just go the same cycle all the time. That's why I just I play Battlefield on PC because I knew no console could to, ever to handle. PC because only consoles are 40 freaking... Yeah. So you know it sucks? You have to basically reload a hard drive like it's a fucking magazine or something like, oh, gotta gotta reload my battle. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
the, the, the thing that sucks about PCs for, for me exactly is that I have a terrible PC. My PC is bad. Like, I bought my PC not knowing of the game, like, not knowing of the PC gaming type era. I was like, console's cool, right? But then I saw someone's like, I'm playing this on PC, right? And then I was like, oh, PC, I have a PC, I can do that. I tried to download Minecraft, guys. And my PC was like, why? <laughs> I can't. <clears throat> and I'm like, what? I can't. Do it. So Too now many I small to, pixels. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. I can barely run Minecraft. I'm running Minecraft, and I have to like use like half my electricity bill. And my, my computer's <laughs> coughing and dying to get one game through. And like I see everyone with um, all these other stuff, and then trying to um, get a better PC. I'm like, I want to build my own PC. I want to put it all together. Like, I would love that. I would love to put together my own PC and have, like, an amazing-looking PC right next to me. So I, I can render something. I got that. I can stream. I got that, too. But it's more like I want to play Minecraft. Oh, uh, well, I got to turn off all everything in my house. Got to make sure I have a generator, like a diesel one, hook up to my computer, make sure everything's fine, and I'll be able to play for, like, five minutes, and I'll be good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, like, uh, I'm going to talk about my experience with new gen, because I have both, or, well, I sort of had both. The fucking Xbox didn't work, so I'm still waiting for them to send me a new one. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's like, it's very lackluster, even though I'm, like, a Sony person, like, even from the PlayStation perspective. The only game I found interesting to play for a while was Knack, and, like, and that was giving horrible reviews. I don't know why. It's, like, a good family fun game. I don't know how people can, like just tear apart that game, but, like, I played it for a little while, and, like, I played Kills, and I was like, yeah, wow, this is very pretty, but, boy, is this a, a very brown shooter, it's very vanilla, and, like, you can't, like, oh, wait, like, I sh hmm? there, there hasn't been uh, many shooters or, or FPS-type games that I've seen where I'm, like, I get in the game, I'm like, look at the sky, look at the buildings, look at this, oh, my God, it's more like brown, gray, brown, 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 black, brown, gray, brown, sadness, despair. Like, it's very, like, Killzone Shadowfall is very colorful and good to look at, but story-wise and, like, shooter-wise, it's, like, very cut and dry, it's very meh, it's like, it's, and it's like, I'm basically paying $60 for graphics and, like, all that shit, which is just fine because it's better than the PlayStation 3 when PlayStation had no games launched for uh, PlayStation 3. It's like, yeah, at least there's a few games that can tide me over till Infamous Second Son come out. And then as for Xbox exclusives, I, I was stuck playing my girlfriend's Xbox One at her house and stuff. <laughs> Especially when it came to recording and stuff. And uh, let me just say, Rise is very boring. Oh and people God. got mad at me for saying that Rise oh is boring. Listen, listen mm -hmm. right? I was watching, it's actually early today. I was like, oh, there's a Rise Let's Play going on, right? And I'm watching it, right? And they have those like slow-mo type execution things. And, I, and for the first five minutes, I'm like, oh, I'm going to go buy this game. I'm going to have an Xbox One. This is so amazing. I love it. And then after like the second episodes, I'm like, all right, this is repetitive. Can we get something else? Can we get something, some, some spice in it? And it's literally hack slash, hack slash, hack slash, Arkham City type hack, hack slash, like slow-mo, hack slash. Little mo hack slash like the whole through and I was like all right I'm done watching this I want to go do something else. Yeah, like when they like told me oh this can rival God of War on the PlayStation no, no. like like no like <laughs> like because I, I thought like it would have some sort of like like intense like supernatural element like oh I would become a uh, Roman god or something I would oh, get yeah. their powers and shit yeah. but it's like it's very dull and like oh my god it's like. Once you see, like, in the first, like, I'm going to say a couple hours, you finally get this whole, like, quote-unquote, like, God, like, God coming to you or something, like, supernatural or whatever. And it was just very dull and boring. Like, I just, I'm just glad I got that. Uh, I'm just glad I didn't buy that myself because it's just so, ooh, oh, my God. And people are just, like, saying, like, they're hopping. Like, that. that's the bad thing about having exclusive fanboys is the fact that they will, like, put up, they will, like, protest to anything as long as it's part of their it's, system. Yeah, yeah, see, 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 honestly, uh, I, as I said, I've been an Xbox, I, I've been an Xbox gamer, but there's some games on other systems that I would just would love to have. And it came to the point where, with God of War, when God of War was just like, I would say it was like the second second game in, I literally went to my local GameStop, like, every day for like two weeks, like, hey guys, I'm just back in, gonna go get a couple missions in save it for me, and they were like, ah, oh, that's cool, and I literally went in there and finished the game, and I was like, I love this so much, 
but like like <laughs> Like I, I I did it. I literally did it. They're like, You're back again, you're gonna buy something? I'm like, Buy something? No. Like I came in there like a snuggie on and everything. I was ready. Um I was ready to play some some God of War. But when fanboys talk about like I especially I hate console console wars, like this is better than this and I love how like PS four and Xbox One and there's going at, then PC standing back like, You guys know I'm here, right? I'm better than both of you. Ever. Ever. Forever. This is how it's gonna be. <laughs> I mean, and I'm not I'm not like a, some like PC elitist. I mean I love consoles, but you have to think about it. Who cares? You like one thing, you like the other thing. Stay. I don't care what's better than what. Play what you want to play. Have fun. Enjoy your life. God. I just imagine the PCs back there just saying, "Guess what? I am you and more." Because <laughs> yeah. it's like it's because like if you really think about it, a console is basically like us like a. Like an underling of the uh, of the PC because it's like everything that you can find in the PC is in your console. It's just like uh, each company uh, rigs it in a way where you can only play certain exclusives on there and stuff. And like uh, I worked at a couple places, video game company places, where it's just like everything started out from a computer. Everything starts out from the same computer, like a supercomputer or whatever. And it's just like, why are you guys tripping over it? And like, I, even though I like the Xbox 360, I'm going to say right here and right now, the PlayStation 3 exclusives blow the, uh, the Xbox 360 exclusives out the water a little bit. Just by, just by like a little bit. That's because like Halo 4 and like Halo 3 and stuff is bringing up the Xbox 360 in stock. And I believe that, um, the only thing that kept like the Xbox alive is really, oh, got away from them Halos. Cause I have a friend who bought the Xbox One. He's like, only bought this for Halo. This is my Halo box. I'm like, dude, really? <laughs> and, um, uh, see, see, well, well, when I talk about that thing and I talk about relative to PCs, the one thing I think of is like, um, like, uh, like, like this, like, p like, PC is like a, uh, like a Greek emperor, like, looking down as gladiators of PS4 and Xbox One fight each other, and he's like, ah, ah, fight each other, because I'm better than all of you, like, and, and it's sad, because we, we tend to just fight and fight and fight, and we just know that, like, there's no point to it, and there really isn't. And the PC is just over there, like, um... PC's like, yeah, you, listen, like, I, there's no set standard for me. I am always going to be better because you, you are my children. I am God. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much, dude. that's how it is. Yeah, it's like the new, like, I don't know, just new gen everything or current gen or however you want to say it. Like, it just seems like very lackluster. It's like, eh, it's like, uh, give me, like, let me wait till some more exclusives come out. So, like, I'd say for people doing their fucking, like, Oh, Xbox One versus PS4, PS4 wins or Xbox One wins. Save that shit for like two more years until there's like a few more console exclusives that come out because, yeah, it's just like worthless to do that now because it's like you're just basically going off a of personal, um, personal opinion at that point. And you can sort of see that when you watch, um, commentators and stuff. Uh, the one like commentator that actually, uh, well, not really a commentator, the one person that was reviewing a console, which uh, some of you guys may know that are listening to this po uh, podcast, or some people that are in the call right now may have heard of him. He's called Blackbuster Critic, and like I watched a few of his shit, uh, a few of his stuff, and it's like he's talking like, like he actually breaks down like, he, this, like he, he it, probably has like an, an unbiased view, right? Like he's like, not, he's not with one or the other. He's just like this is how it is. Yeah, he's like he breaks down like every like uh like after this chat uh, after this podcast is done, I should show you guys his channel. But like he broke it down like each like he broke it down in ways that people can understand it, and in ways like w that could please everybody. But yet in the end, I'm looking at the comment section and his dislike and like bar, people like calling him like a Sony fanboy or whatever, just because like just because of this or just because of that. And, like, it was a basic review on PS4 Plus membership or PS uh, Plus membership as opposed to Gold membership. And I, from personal experience, can attest to that PlayStation Plus is a hell of a lot better than Xbox Gold because you get a lot more. Oh, yeah. And like, you don't need Gold just to play multiplayer, which is fucking, which is fucking annoying on, and bad on Microsoft part. Like, why would you do that? But, as I said, until, until Xbox uh, figures out that it's actually hurting them more than it's hurting uh, so it's like whatever. What can I, you do? I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I look at that the same way. I literally was almost like, 
I was so close to buying a PS3 when, when I actually first bought my first Xbox, and I was like, the only reason, I literally would tell you, the only reason, the main reason why I bought an Xbox 360 right now is because the majority of my friends had it. Um, and that's for pretty much my only reason. And then I just got so used to it, then I just never, like, deviated from it. And some people treat, like, their consoles like, 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 like gods, pretty much. Like, like they, they get personally offended when you say something wrong about their console. Like, oh, you don't like that the, the Xbox One doesn't put out as much quality as... Oh, like, no, no one cares. Seriously. It's, it's just two people just bickering, bickering back and forth over nonsense. Like, like you can usually, like, I, the, like, the reason why I'm so lax about Xbox versus uh, PlayStation 3 is because, like, how I got the PlayStation 3 was basically because, oh, it was there. It was... It was um it was available at the time I wanted to buy a console. I bought the console. I was happy with my purchase because it's better than having nothing. It's not like I prefer like like I want to say like uh, like the previous generation of gaming like really brought the animosity between consoles and stuff because like I don't know it's like it's like why it's like why are you choosing one over the other when it's like when knowing damn well the reason why you got it in the first place was probably because of like reasons that you could even care less about so it's like uh, walking yeah. on do you guys think this topic's getting a little bit like drawn out do you guys want to switch yeah i think yeah I think, yeah, yeah. We, we, we've been talking this a while um anyone got any topics the topic of topics yeah, yeah so what do you guys think about how hard it is to find topics nowadays like do you think that's a problem <laughs> in today's i don't world? understand when i go into a podcast many- and I don't know any topics. I just sit here looking at the wall like, that's some nice paint. That's some nice paint. Oh, tell me more about that. have we gone by, like, four? I lost count. Well, you guys, you guys have done all the talking. I, mean, I know, uh, Steven, uh, playing your fucking Nino Cooney. I stopped. Yeah. Tell us, t- I talk stopped. about that game. Talk about that. How good is Nino Cooney? At least us two can talk about that game because I liked it. It was okay. Even though my friends told me it was a baby RPG, it was it was... Good. I got so much flack for playing that game. You don't even know. Like you know how uh, I said earlier, I died. Well, uh, it's not like the RPG. You just go in head first. All I had to do was uh, stay back and uh, chip damage, and I won. So yeah. And then died. Slow clap. Slow clap for you. <laughs> just the best slow one. clap. Oh my god! Like I, you know, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie. Some of you guys haven't said much that I forgot what your what your voice sounds like. Literally, some of you are just. Just sh- well, it does not uh, voice just like. died. No, I didn't. I'm eating. <laughs> wow, wow, very professional. You, yeah. No, I could. Oh, I'm, I'm here. Oh, yeah, I'm stuffing my face. Listen, sir, I did not eat for three hours, and then I just came on this podcast, and someone brought me some chicken wings. So I was like, mm, well, I can't pass this up. Mm, chicken wings. <laughs> mm. Like Jesse, how do you are? <laughs> The only way we know that he was still on if he's like choking on his food. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, call him a doctor. Like, oh, oh God! <laughs> is, is someone what? dying? Lord yeah. knows if he fucking mutes his mic, he'll be dead. In the middle of it, he's, all, all, all of a sudden everything's all calm. Then it's all of a sudden, <laughs> 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 just silence. Jesse hangs up the call with his face as it hits the keyboard. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um... Oh my god, that was horrible. Like, do is there any, like, more touching subjects that you guys think that should be, uh, said now? Touching subjects? No, I think, I think we should call it on that one. It's, uh, we, we've been talking for a pretty long time. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's good. I've been listening for a pretty long time. I know you haven't. You could have said something. <laughs> you like, yeah, there, was, there, there was perfectly, there was good times where we just stopped talking. We just, me and, me and him, we just stopped talking just to get all you other guys to say something. But then when you guys don't, we're like, um, um, so, yeah, and I agree hey, with hey, you. Hey, I did it. I tried. Hey, Dylan. I, I, Jesse, Steven, you guys. <laughs> Effort <Yeah>. points. <laughs> I brought up something, too. Okay. Bro, the Nels- Nelson Man- I, I the don't know the full story on that. I gotta look that article up because apparently someone has resting bitch face syndrome, and that's a thing. <laughs> I, I, that's the most okay. I'm about to like before I end this. This is uh, I hate when people bring up bullshit disease that I don't like believe is an actual thing. Like honestly, like rest and it's. I hope it's not actually called. No, 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 no. It's, it's not. Like, no, no, term. no. There's no actual scientific term. That's just what. That's just a street term. Like, oh, she has resting bitch face syndrome. 
<laughs> Again, that is so stupid. Like, like yes. honestly, that's so retarded. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna have to read this later. Yeah. But uh, uh, yeah, talking about Nelson Mandela and like, apparently he died, which as a black guy I should be more in tune with like what happens in Africa. I guess, and I did not know he died. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I I remember this because somebody got like butt somebody, hurt. Because, somebody like, told me that they made uh all the flags around the United States go half flag because of that. See, Somebody got butt hurt. And he was like, never a picture of him, and they're like, "Oh, he was oh, never American what? either. He was never he was an American." Well, I think. well um, I, I kind of feel but, like people expect, like you know, this generation, like our generation right now, we have not the slightest clue, or like some of us may like have an idea of who he is, but majority of us were born after all of the like drama type thing that he was involved in occurred so we're like yeah he died but we don't really know who he is yeah see the only reason i know who he is is because well we we were kind of taught about it but that's it other than I that was, i was like oh i wasn't even taught about it my mom was like you know nelson mandela died and i'm like oh what movie was he in you <laughs> <laughs> saw a picture of him. Oh, oh shit, Morgan. <laughs> she almost backhanded me because she was like, I have she found was like, the Holy Father. You, 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 you should know who that is. <laughs> like, no. Like, is it? Like, that sounds like something stupid. Like, why should we know every black person that existed on this planet that actually done something? Like, I, I did not. like five of them, let's be honest. <laughs> There's only five of them, and one of them, unfortunately, one, one is one of them, Yanni. <laughs> <laughs> like I like I remember I got someone got so mad like a black guy got so mad at me because like because like I didn't I told him like I protested up and down telling him I do not like those Tyler Perry movies I think they're trash they're garbage oh my god thank they're you a- Thank you. See, listen, someone agrees with me. I'm like, what is he doing? He's playing on stereotypes that majority aren't even true. And he's just saying all this stuff and you think it's funny. And I'm sitting there like, this is why we can't get cars. This is why we can't do this. People watch these movies and, like, we have all these, like, little children thinking, like, this is the way you're supposed to act. And it's like, yeah, that's right. This is why there's stereotypes. Yeah, this is why we can't have nice things. (laughs) Holy crap, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is black? Wow. He's Samoan. I thought, I, I thought he's Samoan, yeah. He, he, it's, someone just said he was black. Well, wow. Someone <laughs> has no eyes. I don't... I do. wrong on that. <laughs> I don't know. It's very hard to tell, like, these days. Like, if you're really dark, I'm going to just assume that you're black. Like, oh, no. oh, most okay. people who are Dominican, they're like, that, oh, yeah, that, you're black. That that just that just reminded <laughs> me. There's this girl. She's, like, one of my friends, right? And then she's, like, um... Like, she, she asked me, she's like, oh, well, you know, like, it was the first day I met her, she's like, oh, where are you? You're like, you're black and something else. I'm like, yeah, my dad's white, my mom's black, blah, 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 uncommon. How about you? You look black, too. And she got, oh, I am Dominicana, blah, 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 stand, stand, stand. I'm like, I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't, you look like the knight. I'm, I don't, I don't know, I'm Like, sorry. you're darker than me, like, calm like, down. Like, 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 I know, like, like. Like I'm like you're you're so dark you could be purple but I don't I'm sorry I don't I don't know and like I didn't mean that with no disrespect and she's like oh I would never be that and then and I'm like oh <laughs> that okay. sounds more disrespect like, yeah, no, like, <laughs> like oh there's something wrong with being black like whoa I, I would have turned it around on her and be like oh what you got oh. problems with being black like what and, and and it sucks being half black and half white because like all right listen this is exactly how it'd go I'd go out with the white side of my family. And we'd go out and buy stuff, and they're all like, let's get some turkey. I'm like, let's get some chicken. They're like, let's get some mayonnaise. I'm like, let's get some hot sauce. They're like, let's get some strawberries. I'm like, that watermelon sure looks nice. I mean, like, we're just, like, t- totally different. And then I get I get looks when I'm with them. They're like, is he adopted? Let's get some soda. Let's get some Kool-Aid. I know, right? Oh, then, Kool-Aid's then, yeah. so disgusting. Oh, my God. See, look, when they talk about Kool-Aid, like, if you like, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about Kool Aid for a second. If you just take you know a normal pack of Kool Aid, add it some water, mix it up, you're gonna die. That takes like herpy juice, all right? There's nothing in there that you're gonna be like, this is amazing. But that's why people get like a whole pound of sugar. They're like, yeah, this is good for you. Yeah, this this you is know, gonna be great. See, like that the op- that's kind of like the opposite for me. I was like raised by my white side of the family, and then when I like get introduced to the black part, it's like it's like a totally different situation. Oh, like, intervention right like, there. You don't understand. You don't understand. Oh, I'm sorry to cut you off, but you don't understand how um how bad it is when I go over to the 
Like, because the majority of my black family was like, yo, nigga, what's up? What's good? And I go, and they're like, hello, gentlemen, my name is Daquan. This is what I did. And they're like, what? They're looking at me like I just spoke some alien-type gibberish. And they look at me like I am, like, because I am literally the black sheep in a family of black people. I don't know. <laughs> how, technically, would I be the white sheep? If you want to, because they're all, I don't know. You're but. the sheep that was white and then painted black. Yeah, and I'm like, hello, I'm like, hello everybody, how, how you doing? And, like, when it comes to, like, political meeting, like, poli- I don't know political meetings, but, like, when my family's doing something, like, official and I need someone to talk, they would always give the phone to me because I can explain what they're trying to say. Like, hey, 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 tell them what I mean. Or well, what she means is, is that she's trying to say, you know, this. And what she actually said was, like, yo, nigga, I need some cheese. She would like you to pick up some cheese from the grocery <laughs> store. Um, <laughs> I mean, like, like, then, like, like that, that, that's how it is. And um, I, I find it find it weird. And they look at me like I'm the wrong one. I'm like, I speak in complete sentences. I put periods in my words. <laughs> I'm the one who's normal. I'm the one who's going to have a job after all this. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm not trying to knock my own family, but like, I'm like, come on, guys, don't make fun of me because I talk normally. Like, I'm not talking any other way. Like, you talk like a white boy. I, I, what? I don't know if my voice has a. I think I talk normally. I, I don't know what you're trying to say, and that's just the way my family works. That's the way how everybody works. No, it's like, not. like people get surprised when like oh. they hear oh, certain oh. shits, like whatever. Oh, um, oh God, I have this funny story. So I back, I lived in Florida just a little bit ago. I live in uh, Connecticut right now. <laughs> and uh, I lived in Florida for a while. You should have and said hi. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Uh, you keep uh, saying that, Stephen. No one's going to say hi <laughs> to you. you like hey, hey, Stephen, Stephen, uh, where in Florida did you live? Miami. Oh, 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 Mr. Big Shot. Um, <laughs> so uh, I lived, I lived Balling in... Balling it with Rick Ross. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? He's just going hard. Um, so... So I lived in this small town, and what happened was that uh, there was this redneck girl who happened to like me. And one thing that you notice when you're in the South, redneck black people, no, that doesn't cross each other. That's bad. That shouldn't happen. Uh, I mean, some redneck people are cool, but the majority that lived in my area were, like, flat-out racist. They'd see me, and they'd be like, look at that goddamn nigger. And I'd be like, oh, well, I'm sorry. Um, and what happened was, I was there was this redneck girl who happened to like me, and so I tried to spit my game, try to get her to date me. And I was like, oh, what's good? You know, whatever and i ended up dating her and then her father called me and i'm like hello sir and he's like oh hi you know we're having a conversation right and he's like oh you seem like an amazing person come over for dinner then i um i went to the house for dinner i went there i was looking all night i knocked on the door he opened it up and he's like who are you and i'm like hello i'm daquan he's like you're not white i'm like no no i'm not he's like but you sounded white over the phone i'm like well i'm, I'm sorry and he shut the door right in my face like go go where you came from and I'm like, well, okay. <laughs> I had, like, the saddest walk home, the walk of shame. My mom's like, what happened? I'm like, those motherfuckers are racist. <laughs> 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 you couldn't take the hint from your name or something? Uh, no, 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 because he didn't know my name. I mean, he, he knew my name, but, like, he, like, when I told him my name over the phone, I think he was talking to someone else or something, but, like, he, he didn't know that, like, like, that I had a pigment difference. And my skin was a different color than his was, and he was like, like really, 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 really racist. <laughs> yeah, all that really. He's really. Ra- I'm talking about like, like he would have like mounted me on like a like a law or something. Really, really, really. really. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's like, he's like uber. Ra- he's like uber racist. Like, like that's like, a new he term. Had, like he had like swastikas in the background. Like I didn't want to go in the house anyways. What, does, does someone speak? <laughs> what, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, funny. it's not moving, rubber. Show Yanni. See what happens when we don't speak? <clears throat> See what happens? Hey, we, we just let you guys like, it just got awkwardly quiet yeah. out of nowhere. It was like no transition into the quietness. It was just like, oh. Okay. <laughs> I was like, well, all right. Th- <laughs> See, I just left. <laughs> oh, he's like, he's like, this is not important. Anymore. Uh, I just came back to this. <laughs> oh, you you missed the funny. racist talk. God the- dang it, I always <laughs> miss those. Yeah, Why am like, I so white? I got lynched the other day. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're back to your news on, like, blackpeoplemeet.com. <laughs> <laughs> no, I see the commercial for BlackPeopleMeet.com and I facepalm for like 15 minutes. I'm like, why? 
Well, you know what I like those other like weirder websites where it's like where it's like Asian people, Jewish people meet and all that shit. Like, like wow, it's like no, like, oh, no. I swear to God, there was like JewishBlackFarmerMeet.com. I'm like, <laughs> what type of criteria? <laughs> 